Houston and Dania Beach is one of the facilities where this particular group and other migrants are processed. Local 10's Hatzabella spent the day there today speaking with those who have been released and the family members anxious to receive them. Hatzel. Calvin, so many stories, stories of fear and stories of joy. <laughs> These are the reunions we are seeing here in Dania Beach. 29-year-old Omar Tejas tells us about the voyage, which started in the Ciego de Avila province of Cuba. <laughs> on a cell phone, they captured what they described as a dangerous trek. 30 people on board. From key to key, the Cuban doctor says they were hungry, finally landed in Isla Morada overnight after being at sea six days. Muy emocionada. An emotional day, says his cousin Noelvis, who adds, it's tough not knowing something could have happened at sea. Three days, they didn't know if Omar was okay. We didn't know if our family would be here waiting for us. He says we didn't know if we would be deported. More reunions, more stories of joy. Newly arrived and released, Alejandro Armas Bertrán, happy to be reunited with his wife, Mayrin, who four months ago herself came by way of the southern border. Teary-eyed, he tells us the worst is leaving family behind. Equally important to share the stories of heartbreak. Still no word from 27-year-old Kirenia Gonzalez and her daughter, 11-year-old Brianna Rodriguez. Kirenia <laughs> Gonzalez fears the worst. Her daughter and granddaughter left on this boat December 31st. Mi corazón me dice que no, que no, que no han llegado ahí. That mother there telling me that her heart is telling her that her daughter and granddaughter may have not made it. For now, reporting live from Dania Beach, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News. That is